place in the third round of the FA Cup at stake. A chance to be in the hat with the country's biggest clubs, the possibility of a real glamour tie come January. No wonder Chris Parry, there's such a great sense of occasion here. Yeah, it's a fantastic sense of occasion. You know, the, the crowd are really up for it. Spoken to the two managers, that they're, they're, they're all up for it. And obviously, you know, it's a fantastic opportunity for these, certainly these Kurs national players, to show what they've got. And they're going on the attack early on, what a goal! Unbelievable strike! Got his boots off his former teammate at Liverpool, John Flanagan. He says they're lucky boots. They proved to be so today. He lines up with his left foot and he won't hit a ball better than that in his career. Flew past James Shea into the Wimbledon net. This Curzon's eighth FA Cup game of the season. The current holders, Manchester United, you know, only played seven matches to win it last season. AFC Wimbledon having to defend now, though. Curzon Ashton going forward with some purpose, and it's been kept in, and it's Morgan again! This is quite remarkable. The FA Cup produces fairy tales, season in, season out. We are seeing one unfolding in front of our eyes here. Lovely ball from Guest. No one marking the run of Adam Morgan. He's just arriving from deep. Those Kershaw Aston fans in dreamland at the moment. Woodford did well there. Taylor with the ball back to Elliott. But saved by Hakan Burton. Could be a big save in the context of this match. Wimbledon, who've come into this match, Chris, in decent form, they're unbeaten in five. Incredible shock on the cards here. And another block, throwing their bodies in the way, the Curzon Ashton play. Twice excellent defending from Connor Hampson once again. That's the situation that Wimbledon want with Dominic Polian. Taking it quickly, time. Clearly of the essence here for AFC Wimbledon. That's a good hit! And what a wonderful save by Hakan Burton. Sensational save from Hakan Burton, that is. Towards Elliot from Shea. And it's going to run through here. What a chance that is. Taylor couldn't take it. Has to hit the target at least. In the bounce. And now this is Guest. Fuller looking to get back at it. Pulled over brilliantly. Hat trick. Adam Morgan's there again. There's no stopping the Nash. A breakaway goal. They've hit AFC Wimbledon hard again. What a story that's unfolding here. Hat trick for Adam Morgan. There's the chief executive, Natalie Atkinson, says she wants Manchester City in the third round, might just get her wish. Goalkeeper's come out to this and didn't get to it, and that was a nervy moment at the back. Good flick on, wasn't it, I think? Tyrone Barnett this time flicks it on, it's Elliot who's made the run in behind. It would be a quite remarkable comeback, but there's still time yet for Wimbledon to hit back. Get one and you just never know, in towards that near post, and they're trying to turn it in! Surely they have! It's on the line and it's in again! And how have they kept that out? Couldn't have been much closer though, Chris. Oh, no, absolutely it? not, no, but heroic defending from these Kurs Nashton players. Elliot, who got it off Barnett. Polion's in the middle. Taylor's there as well. In another corner, good defending once again. They really had defended brilliantly this afternoon. Hakan Burton came for that and didn't get to it, and there is one back. Just over ten minutes to go, and it's Tom Elliott who's given AFC Wimbledon a glimmer of hope here. And it will put that bit of doubt in the minds of the Curzon Ashton players here. Up towards Elliott again, it's a good header, down towards it, and Reeves with the shot, appeals for handball. Long, last ten minutes or so this. Hakan Burton tries to come through a crowd of bodies again, and it's another one! Oh, the comeback's on here! Once again, he comes, doesn't get there, falls kindly, and there he is, Dominic Polian in the six-yard box to turn it in. Is the fairy tale falling apart here for Curzon Ashton? Suddenly, they're a bag of nerves. 
It's Reeves. And it's a great cross, and the header's in! Astonishing! It's a perfect header, just bending away from Hakan Burton. This game has turned on its head within the space of two minutes and 40 seconds. He couldn't script it, and the smiles have turned to frowns. How oh, the atmosphere, the feeling around this stadium has completely changed. How it swung in Wimbledon's favour. And the header is saved by Burton. What a chance that was! He knows his side should have won this. Taylor, could they win it right at the end here? But it's in there! So close. Tyrone Barnett throws everything at it, gets a touch on it. Within a whisker. Woodford with the long ball. Gets away from Elliot, but he was brought down. The final minute of added time. Into the area it goes. Oh! I can't believe what I'm seeing here. Tom Elliott with surely the last touch of the game has won it for AFC Wimbledon. You can see there John Flanagan hands on his head. Can't quite believe it, but. These Kersian Aston players should be proud of the performance they put in this afternoon. Wimbledon through to the FA Cup third round for only the second time in their history. John Flanagan looks on in reflection. A quite astonishing comeback from AFC Wimbledon. I'm delighted with the players. It's, what a game. I mean... I don't think I've been involved in anything quite like it. And um, it's an amazing game of football for the cameras. It sums the FA Cup up. But I do I do feel for Curzon, and I shouldn't, because the manager should go in his own dressing room and worry about his team. But I do feel for him, because I thought they were they were incredible today. Yeah, I can't tell you how I feel, to be quite honest with you. And it's, it's, uh, it's in the bottom of your belly. And uh, all the lads are feeling it. The, the changing room's silent. We'll get over it. I'll probably not sleep much tonight, but... Uh, you know, thinking about we were that close, and I dread to think what the what the draw will be on Monday if uh, if that comes out and it's a big club. Oh, you don't want to know, do you? It was quite <laughs> simply an incredible cup tie at Curzon. I mean, heartbreak for them, considering that they're struggling, you know, in the sixth tier of English football. But they gave Wimbledon an almighty scare today, Dion. No, they they were superb. They 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 tried to play a bit of football as well. They went long when they had to. They had a spell of. I don't know, 60 minutes where they just, they couldn't do anything wrong. Every time they got in the final third, they put the ball into areas where they should be scoring. They could have scored four or five. They got three. It just wasn't enough to keep them where they wanted to be. You know, it, it, was, it was amazing. But it's like, you know, Neil said there, you know, the manager, he said, that's the FA Cup. That's yeah. exactly what it is. 80 Same. minutes. Unbelievable. 80 minutes and no. you're 3 up. Yeah, you got to see, do you know the funny thing was watching that game? They kept trying to play and the game had changed, the momentum had changed, you know, and you knew the ball was coming yeah. into your box. Yeah. And they kept trying to play. They wouldn't just they would refuse to get the ball out of out of their own half, out of their own third. And it brought a little bit of pressure on and that, that enabled women mm. to stick it in a box. Two substitutes made a big difference yeah, to them. They and did. Yeah, that they changed did. the face of the game. For Adam Morgan, it is such a shame, really, because oh. the back pages tomorrow will be full incredible. of this incredible comeback from Wimbledon. But yeah. we shouldn't forget his hat trick, the first goal of which was yeah. simply stunning. A oh, wonderful strike, wasn't it? I mean, this is, I think, 34, 35 seconds. Um, uh, he got substituted late in the game. Yeah, for that celebration, I, by never... the way. <laughs> for his celebration, that's why I've he got ever substituted. Seen a, a person who scored a hat trick looks so unhappy yeah. <laughs> leaving a pitch. I mean, it's, it is a really good hat trick, I've got to say. I mean, he, he played well 12 years at Liverpool, so he's got a good ground in. Yeah. You know, and, and these were all different sorts of goals. You know, one with his left foot, this one is a lovely one too down the left hand side. And he's Johnny on the spot. You know, brave to get in there amongst mm. the, the defenders. And the last one. It's it again. It's a good one too, this. He doesn't give it up, guest, and it's a wonderful cross. And they played a big part in the third mm. goal, actually, yeah, real quality. Um, but that, that's, just, that's just never die, though, isn't it? That's yeah. never die. Real determination. Know. But when he gets there, Dion, look at the quality. Mm. You know, he's under pressure, the ball's bobbling, but he looks up Great finish. and finds, finds the man, and that's a wonderful pass. And all he's got to do then is control the finish, and he does that brilliantly. And then he gets himself a yellow card. Dion, you know all about scoring a hat trick, but losing 4-3, don't you? <laughs> yes, I, oh. yes. I scored a hat trick for Coventry, lost 4-3 against Sheffield oh. Wednesday, and I was as happy as him 
coming off the pitch. Oh, Absolutely right. gutted. Let's have a look at the 162 seconds because that's all it was in the time that Wimbledon scored three goals. And in, in some ways, it was very much old school Wimbledon, wasn't it? It, it had to be. It had to be because they, they couldn't beat, they couldn't score any other way. And they had to find a way of scoring goals. They just put the ball into an area with a load of big yeah, lads there. Yeah, and, they, yeah. and they fought. They fought hard for it. They deserved it. The Dif difference in this, this was, we'd seen prior to this, three or four minutes before this, a scramble, and it didn't drop them twice. You know, and you look at this game, and in 10 minutes, you're 3-0 down, 18, after 80 minutes, they could have won this mm, game 6-3. Yeah. That is some head of that. Two guilt edge shots is a wonderful head. It's actually, I mean, that's... That's brilliant. You know, you look at the angle and he, the way that he gets the pace. He made a big difference, Barnett, when he came on. Th I think Kurzan Kers is... thought at one point, didn't they, that they got away with it at 3-3. Three, three. Well, there, there were oh, two that, moments, yeah. yes. that one and the, and the miss just prior to that. But this... Well, that's it? one of yours, that is, isn't it? <laughs> that's just... That is, that is an, a, a ball punted foot. It's a straight ball it as is, well. It is. There's no real pace on no. it. And he somehow manages to arch his neck and get some purchase on that ball. And, I mean, you know, people will go keep it, but there's, there's power on that that finish. 80 wow. minutes, they're 3-0 up. <laughs> I can't believe yeah. it, they lost 4 You could see Neil Ardley after is looking quite sheepish because he knows he got away he, with it. He didn't celebrate, did he? No. I think he, no, he as didn't. much as you want to say well done to the lads, you're also saying, yeah. tell you what, chaps. You've got away with that one. <laughs> we got away with it. <laughs>